this may be the last Chevy SS meet. When I say the last one, I mean probably for the year. It's getting cold and we typically don't really hang out looking at cars when it's 25 degrees. So today it's pretty cold. It's 29 degrees right now. It's gonna be a chilly one this morning. We like to do the morning uh, meetup uh, because a lot of us are busy during the day and figured uh, breakfast is always good at this restaurant called First Watch in Bowie, Maryland. It sounds like there'll be a pretty good turnout, so looking forward to it. Oh man, you're already there. You passed me already. Three years. Okay. The darn that, that's the only thing I've had any kind of problem with. Yeah. Drive Pretty much it's one of my favorite. It sounded good. <laughs> so I had a good time at that meet. That was awesome seeing everybody. I know some people want to know when these events happen, so keep an eye out on SS forums. The organizer posts these events there, and also keep an eye out on the Chevy SS owners Facebook page, where the organizer also posts these events. I will try to share it as well on my Instagram. In my Instagram stories, my Instagram is in the link somewhere in this video. Winter is around the corner, and that's when car people tend to do work for on their cars. I do have something planned. It's not. It's nothing major. Just um, some suspension upgrades. The reason why I want to do it is to, well, kind of two things. One, to refresh some bushings, of course. Um, not all the bushings, I guess, but just the ones that will come with the parts. I'm really doing it mostly because I want to sharpen the handling just a little bit more on this car. You know, with 85,000 miles now, you know, it's feeling a little, it's feeling less sharp than it used to be when it was new. So definitely feel softer around the corners and, and whatnot. Speaking of corners, Where was I? 
I'm upgrading the tow rods and the trailing arms, the rears, to get um, better handling. I'm also upgrading the front sway bar links, upgrading the springs. Nothing aggressive as far as lowering the car. Going with King SL springs. So I can't wait to get that done. I'm sure the parts are fine, the stock parts are fine, but they are old and the bushings are old for those particular elements. I know you can get a full brace underneath from BMR, you can upgrade the tunnel brace and all that stuff, but I'm not road coursing this car or, or auto crossing it. Um, I am taking, good lord, these back roads are awesome. I am enjoying these back roads and I, and I do like it. Right now, I mean, the car feels fine. You know, the magnetic ride the control is really awesome in this car. Um, I know I'll have to get the tech to do an alignment and uh, recalibrate the mag ride when, when they install the springs and whatnot. So when the, uh, the parts come in, it's going to be a few weeks though, for, uh, especially for the springs. Um, I'll schedule a time sometime this winter to get those installed and we'll ha I will have a video for that. Let's talk about engine upgrades. I was toying with the idea of a cam swap um, and upgrading the lifters, or I should just say maybe refreshing the lifters, valve springs, and rods in, in the engine. Um, as I know, those parts are uh, can be um, major wear and tear items on high mileage vehicles or if you're really beating the crap out of the car at the racetrack, which I don't. So, but I do have a high mileage SS, so it, it, there's some anxiety around this uh, really strong bulletproof LS3 engine that I have, but let's be real, nothing lasts forever. Things wear out, and I've been seeing those particular things popping up on social media that are failing on some people. So let me know your thoughts. If you were to refresh a high mileage LS, I mean, that's all relative, of course. Okay, let's put it this way. This car has 87,000 miles. I don't track it on a regular basis. It's daily driven. Uh, combination city highway. What would you recommend to refresh the car and when, at what point? I know no two cars are alike. No two drivers are alike as far as behaviors. Uh, but I would love to hear your comments anyway. So leave them in the... Uh, comment thread right below. Other than the uh, suspension refresh I want to do, those uh, lifters, valve springs, rods seem to come up often. I figured if the tech is in there, cam swap? But I really want to maintain drivability, to be honest. I don't want something crazy. So what is your, what are y'all's thoughts on that? I'd love to get your comments and opinions on cam swaps, what to consider. I've been told I should probably consider upgrading the stall as well, the torque converter, if I'm gonna do a cam swap. That's another added uh, cost. So that kind of turns me off. Can I run a cam, a new cam, do a cam swap without upgrading the stall? The answer is, I'm gonna guess is probably yes, but some people will probably say, not a good idea. So let me know your opinion before, as I venture down this road of performance upgrades. I really just want that chop chop sound in the back. <laughs> if I could get that with this setup, I'd be happy. And sure, I'll take a performance gain, why not? Let me know guys, bang for your buck, when my goal is really just chop chop and sound. That's all I really want. But of course, I'll take a performance bump while I'm at it. If it happens as a as a nice bonus. Uh, oh, by the way, the other thing I'm gonna do is get the uh, front repainted, the uh, the fenders, the hoods, and the bumper. The front, the whole front is gonna get a repaint. Uh, so, guys, thanks again for hanging in there, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is still a very busy time, so I don't know when I'm gonna do another video, but I will try my best if I have something worthy to share. And keep in mind, I'm not one of those YouTubers that posts just for the sake of posting. I try not to be. If I'm gonna post something, I wanna make sure it's something I want to share versus just having to do it for the sake of doing it. And so, that's
that's it guys thanks for uh tuning in we'll see you next time